what to expect on a solar system. So on a solar system, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see varying days of different performance. And what you're getting installed on your roof is uh, not something that you're gonna turn on the system and see that number, all right? You're buying uh, kilowatts of equipment, okay? So the solar panels are measured in watts, kilowatts, and uh, your inverter system is also measured in watts, and that's its capacity, and that's the capacity of the solar on the roof as well. Now the solar on the roof, that capacity is based on per module, or what most people call a panel, in a standard test condition, which means a room like this at a testing temperature, upside down on a table that flashes light, like on uh, a camera with a flash, right? It gives you a flash and there are uh, uh, testing leads on the electrical outputs of the module that tell you what that module will do, okay? It'll give you how much current it can push, how much voltage it'll put out, in that flash, in that flash, with that single temperature. That means that up on your roof, that is not what you can expect unless you have exactly those conditions, unless the module itself, not the outside temperature, but the module itself is the temperature in the standard test condition, which uh, puts something out in the sun and it usually gets very hot, right? So, and electronics are affected by heat. So it's going to be affected on your roof differently. You're gonna see different numbers. Now that doesn't mean you won't see those numbers. It doesn't mean that you won't ever see those numbers. On an individual module basis, you will occasionally see those numbers, but it'll only be when the sun is directly perpendicular to that per, uh, particular module, assuming all of the modules are in one plane and uh, all of them out of shade, when the sun is perfectly picking, perpendicular on uh, both axes, okay, so it, it's not at any kind of angle, it's coming in per, per, uh, perpendicular, 90 degrees on both axes. Um, and the cell temperature, the temperature of the module, which means a nice cool day, okay, breezy, cool day, full sun, okay, no cloud, not a cloud in the sky. Then you possibly could see that, but there are other things that come into effect. How long the wire runs are, how well the wire connections are made, uh, the quality of the electronics, how many wire connections you have, not just on the um, solar side to the inverters or microinverters, whatever you might have, but all the wiring all the way down until you get to the bus bar for your distribution, your breaker panel. Okay, these are, I'm throwing out uh, electrical terms, but your breaker panel, all the wiring and connections, all of them matter, okay? So this is not something that you're gonna see full power all the time, and you're only gonna see full power for everything you purchased on your roof is if it's in one plane, and the possibility of that happening is basically twice a year <laughs> at noon, a solar noon, when the sun is per uh, perpendicular exactly to your roof on both axes. And also, assuming on those two days, you have a very cold, uh, breezy day, so the cell temperature does not exceed what the test conditions are. <laughs>